Good afternoon. I wanted to start actually with the news that broke this morning about Sean Dice. Were you surprised to hear that news? Yeah, I think like all of you, it was quite uh, surprising, yeah. Do you think Premier League managers maybe get like, <clears throat> taken advantage of a little bit at times for the work that they potentially do, i.e. Sean Dice has done at Burnley? No, I think there's no doubt about the work he's been doing at Burnley in the last 10 years. Um, but I suppose this is the um, industry that we are living at, and um, it's always difficult to see a manager losing, losing his, uh, his position. But this is the, uh, the world that we are at, and um, as difficult as it is, that's the way it is. Now the way it is right now for you, you're about to lead your Crystal Palace side to an FA Cup semi-final. Um, this competition, has it got an extra special <coughs> feeling in your heart? No, not just in my heart. I think it's a really important competition in this country. Um, the love from the fans, the players, there's an excitement around the FA Cup. And uh, we wanted to do well and we are in a semi-final. It's a really exciting period and, uh, and we will enjoy the day. You've won the competition four times. Did you know that... You're on an unbeaten run of 19 <laughs> matches. I think you do, because I think I asked you. No, because, yeah. Last yeah. Game, actually, as well. what, what is it, though, that's making it so special for you? Now, it's been just the fact that I'm in, uh, I've been in a place where <coughs> clubs been successful in the, in the FA Cup, and, um, and I was just part of it. But, again, this is a, a different football club, different team, different ambition. And, um, and it is a really good moment for the football club. And that is why the message to the players, to the fans, is really to enjoy the moment and to enjoy the day. We had a really good week. We prepared the game quite really well. And there's still another day tomorrow. And, uh, and we will be ready for the game tomorrow. Did you watch Chelsea on uh, Tuesday night? Yeah. Or did you yeah. make that performance? The only, um, I suppose, disappointed uh, moment for them is not to go through football-wise and uh, the game that they had. I think it was, uh, it was really good. I think they played well. It was a, a big game and I think they performed well. I think they can be uh, unlucky and they were unlucky not to go to the, to the semi-final. Games can be go either way on five moments. Do you think it's an advantage that they had that game on Tuesday? <laughs> a game of that before no, no, no. We're talking about a club, a team, a players who are allowed, uh, used to play two games, three games in a week, important games, one after the other ones. So the physical aspect will not going to have any kind of impact on Chelsea's performance. We have to look at ourselves, our we prepare the, the, ourselves, what we want to do to give ourselves the best chance to win <coughs> that, that game. And your squad, how are they feeling? What's the team news have Sunday? Um, we had um, Tariq and, um, and Michael who had some um, training on the field individually yesterday, a little bit more today. And then, of course, we have to wait tomorrow to see if there is any kind of reaction. But they will only get involved in the game if they are 100% fit. And we know Conor Gallagher's missing. Yeah. How frustrated are you about the decision that was made? For me, it's, of course, frustration. But the frustration is more for Conor because he played every single round. He's been doing really well and uh, not having the opportunity to be on the field and to have this kind of experience is something that he will miss. But we knew what we were going on and we knew that playing Chelsea will be uh, something that Connor will not going to take part of it. And of course, missing Connor will give an opportunity to another player to step in and, um, and to do well for the team. Final, just uh, how did Connor take that news? He was disappointed, no doubt about it. But he understood the uh, the rules, and uh, he's in a good place. Good luck, Sunday.
Thank you. Thank you very much. Hi, Patrick. Hi, Alex. I was in uh, Thomas Tuchel's press conference uh, this morning. He said he would understand your frustration. And, uh, <laughs> he actually apologised to Connor. Did you know that? But And does him saying he understands your frustration make it any easier? Yeah, and, you know, he's... This is this is the rules, and um, of course, um, he knows that Connor has been doing really well for us. Uh, but this is the rules, and we have to play by the rules and follow the rules. But you know, we, like I said, we will have another players who will play, and uh, <clears throat> we'll have different options. And um, I don't have any doubt, or I'm not worried about. Players coming in and do well and give the maximum for the for the team. And this is early on in your managerial career. So where does this game rank <coughs> in terms of importance or size? <laughs> it's, it is an important game for the football club. You know, it's not about being a, a, an important game just for me. I'm part of the team. I'm part of the football club, and it is an important moment for the football club. We have the opportunity to to go to the final and we have to prepare the game as well as we can, as the best as we can to perform on the day. We know what to expect about Chelsea. We know the teams, we know the individual talent that they have. We prepared well and we have to give the best performance. Um, we play in the league against them lately. We lost 1-0, yes, but we give them a hard game. And this is the same kind of approach that we want. We want to make it difficult for them. We want to play as best as we can and uh, and try to win the game. And we are ambitious and we will have to perform on the day. There's been lots going on and lots of attention on the match on Sunday. Like you said, it's a big game for the football club. Does it yeah. feel any different? Yeah, because you feel the the passion around the, the team, around the football club. And, uh, and that's good. This is a good moment and this is why we have to enjoy that moment. And Finally, as a player, you would have played in, in Europe and had to go into big games the following weekend. So you probably understand a bit more as the, the Chelsea players will. Did it ever actually affect you? Did you ever feel more tiredness going no, from the European game no. to a big game? The weekend? No, you don't feel the tiredness when you play a semi final of the FA Cup. Those Chelsea players will be ready for it. And we have to be ready for the fight. And again, we will have to look at how we want to approach the game follow our game plan and performing on the day. But we can't count on Chelsea to to be tired because they will not going to be tired. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Thanks Alex. Okay, that's the broadcast section completed. We'll start with the